Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy Elliott. In this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about how to build discipline as a salesperson. This will be the number one deciding factor whether you succeed or whether you don't. It's going to be building discipline. Check it out. All right, guys, so here we go. So every single day, you're going to have a choice. It's either to strengthen your discipline or to make it weaker. Now, I'm going to talk to you for a second. What I'd like for you to do, this is going to be a teaching video. So if you want to become great, if you want to become the best, one of the top 1% earners in the country, you're going to have to have discipline. Without discipline, you're not going to make it. Let me show you something real quick. What I wrote down is every single day, you have a choice. Discipline is the ultimate choice successful people make to win. Let me ask you a question, right? Do you guys agree that there's a shortage of commitment in this world? Yes or no? Is there people massively committed everywhere or is there a shortage of it? There is a massive shortage, just like there's a massive shortage of discipline. So all day long, there's 24 hours in a day, we all get the same hours. What we're doing is either weakening our disciplines or we're building our discipline. You build your discipline. And I'm gonna show you how to build it real quick. And if you're not building it, obviously you're doing the exact opposite and you're weakening it. So small disciplines versus big disciplines. This is really important. I want you to think about this, okay? As you wasting time, not logging deals, writing down goals, not writing them down. Look, writing down your goals, if you write them down, is that a good discipline? Absolutely. What if you don't write down your goals the night before? Well, that's a bad discipline. And ultimately the next day, what are you gonna end up doing? Having a lot of non-income producing activities, we're gonna have a lot of wasted time. Do me a favor real quick. Let's check, let's do a discipline check with you right now. Grab a pen, grab a piece of paper. Let me give you an example. So I'm a sales pro, let's say there's 30 days in a month, 30 days, and I'm gonna work 22 days. Those are called working days, all right? Those are days that I'm gonna be working. Take 22 of those days, and let's say you work, what, 10 hours a day maybe? 22 days times 10 hours. We're gonna do times 10 hours a day, and what do we got here? We got 220 hours, is that right? 220 hours that we are going to work a month. Now, if you're in the automotive space and you sell cars, I want you to do me a favor. How long does it take you to deliver and sell a car? How long? Two hours? Okay, so let's say you sell 15 cars a month. You're a 15 car hand. You sell 15 cars a month times two hours is 30 hours you spend a month actually selling a car. Now I want you to do me a favor. Let's see how disciplined you are. Let's take the 220 you work a month. Let's minus the 30 hours you work. Where are we at? 190 hours that you're not selling. Think about it for a second. If you were selling every hour of the day, how much would you make? What are you worth right now? Two hours of car deal, 15 car deals a month. That's 30 hours selling. If you just work 10 hours a day and you work 22 days a month, you are burning 190 hours. You can't tell me that you're working all those. Write this down. There's 60 minutes in an hour. How you work 60 minutes in that hour is who you are, is the discipline that you have. Now, I'm gonna show you how to build on discipline. First thing that I wrote down here is wasting time. Number one, write this down right now. Kill, K-I-L-L, -L, kill. Kill all non-income producing activities. It's really simple. There will be three things that we will be doing in a dealership from now on. Number one, selling a car right here. Number two, looking for something to sell, using that little piece of plastic, that phone, and dialing and looking for our next client, looking for our next customer, making the calls. Or number three, training to get better. That's it, selling it, looking for something to sell, or training to get better. Those will be the only three things that a top one percenter does. He will kill all non-income producing activities. Now watch this, small disciplines versus big disciplines. Number one, small disciplines create big players. So we're gonna stop wasting time. We're looking for something to sell. We're selling something or training to get better, period, nothing else. Logging deals, okay? Customer calls on the phone. We talk to a customer. We're going to start logging everything that we do. We're going to start cre creating and setting up automations 
for every customer, email campaigns, to everybody that we talk to. We are gonna stay in contact and have reach that other salespeople won't have because they're lazy. So, we aren't going to shortcut anymore. Writing our goals, look, it's really simple. You obviously gotta execute on what you write down, but in order to execute, you need to know what you wanna execute on. You have to write your goals down, okay? From this point forward, if the night before you go to bed, you don't write out what your to-do list is for the next day, don't be confused why you walk in and you keep wasting this kind of time, okay? Write it down the night before. This is how I operate every single day, like a machine, okay? Lastly, I'm gonna share, by, by the way, lots of disciplines here. Lots, there's hundreds of disciplines every day. I walk by a piece of trash on the ground. I pick it up. It's a good, healthy discipline. It's a small one. Those small things create big things in my life, okay? You see a car not parked right, straighten it up. You see someone skipping a step, right? Guess what? Correct them. Listen to me, leaders make leaders. You don't have to have a title, you don't have to be a manager or a GM to act like a leader, okay? Act like one. I'm telling you right now, I'm a leader, I'm gonna make you into a leader. You're gonna be the best in the world, you're gonna build the baddest uh, sales team the world's ever seen but it's gotta happen to you first, okay? Don't get caught in sh conversations with people who don't wanna win, even with people who wanna win. I'm gonna tell you right now, there's 60 minutes an hour, how you work 60 minutes in that hour is who you are. We all have the same 24 hours, all of us. Discipline, discipline is the difference between those that succeed and those that don't. When you have discipline, you're able to execute. When you have discipline, you're able to destroy it. I wrote this down and I want you to write this down and never forget it. Discipline will ultimately dictate the life you create. As an entrepreneur, which is what you are, your goal is to create. An entrepreneur creates, he's a visionary. She is a visionary. Discipline will ultimately dictate the life that you create or don't. Right now, from this point forward, we will focus on discipline. We will focus on it every single day until we die. The choice is yours. What are you gonna do? Tonight, write down your goals for tomorrow. Tomorrow when you're at work, don't get involved in conversations. Don't talk to anybody that doesn't have the same dreams and goals that you have, like I have. Listen to what I say, you'll be one of the top 1% earners, guaranteed. Kill your ego, kill your pride, become like a sponge. Grow to the next level, and as always, guys, if you need something, let's scale up. I'll always be here to help you kill it. I got your back for life. Shoot me a text message if I can help you with anything. 918-210-0254. Guys, you'll see it on the screen right here. 918-210-0254. Shoot me a text message if you need anything at all. I got your back for life. Let's freaking kill it, baby.